next time I will call the meeting to order. The board consists of five members and two alternates. The alternates taking full part in the discussions and becoming a voting member in the absence of a member or when a member abstains for conflict of interest. Present tonight are members Ms. Lisa Carson, Mr. John Goodekanst, Mr. Joe Cross, and alternates are Mr. Aaron Thomas, who will be the voting member tonight in absence of Ms. Kay Towsley, and Mr. Robert Dulac. Are you there, Mr. Dulac? Not yet. I am John Golzi, the chair. Also present are, uh, is Mr. David Riggs present? Yes, sir, here I am. Okay, great. We have our zoning administrator, Mr. David Riggs. And um, I'm also pleased to welcome Ms. Carrie Yake as our new secretary to the board. And once again, I'd like to thank Mr. Paul Eschenbacher for uh, his uh, over 20 years of service as the secretary to the board. The board consists of, uh, well, we talked about that. The board operates according to the following procedure. The chair will name and describe the case. The zoning administrator or secretary will state the basis of the objections and the applicable facts or conditions pertaining to the case. The appellant or the representative will give reason why the appeal should be viewed favorably. Anyone wishing to speak in favor of the request will be heard. Anyone wishing to speak in general comment will be heard. And finally, anyone wishing to speak in opposition will be heard. If necessary, the appellant or the representative will offer concluding summary or rebuttal remarks. Testimony from the floor shall be closed. The board will deliberate and render a decision. According to Athens City Code Section 230703B, the board has power to grant variances from the strict application of the code, provided that the variance will not be contrary to the public interest the spirit of the code is observed, public safety and welfare are secured, and substantial justice is done. According to Athens City Code Section 230710C, variances from the code shall not be granted unless the board makes a specific finding of fact based directly on the particular evidence presented to it that the standards and conditions imposed in this title, if applicable, have been met by the, by the applicant. There are six findings that we will be reviewing tonight. They are exceptional circumstances, practical difficulty and undue hardship, preservation of equal property rights, minimum variance, absence of detriment, and not being in general nature. And I will provide more detailed information about each case when we review the case. Any person, resident or officer, department or appointed body of the city of Athens aggrieved by a decision of the board may petition the Athens County Court of Common Police concerning the illegality of the decision. A such petition must be filed within 30 days after the mailing of the decision of the board to the applicant. There's only one case on tonight's agenda, and that would be the property at 3 Sunnyside Drive. The board is required to take testimony under oath. So to anyone wishing to speak concerning any item on the agenda, do you swear or affirm that any testimony you will present to the board will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. You may unmute your microphone and say yes or no. Yes. Okay, great. We are under the assumption that all those 
appellants or representative or public who are speaking are under oath. Case number 20-79, the property is at 3 Sunnyside Drive, zone is R1, and Mr. Allen McMillan is the appellant. Appellant is requesting a variance from ACC 230310 to allow two primary structures on one lot, where one primary structure per lot is allowed. And Mr. Riggs, uh, my question to you right now is um, once we establish or provide the variance that uh, this would be two primary structures on one lot, then would that address or would pave the way for uh, the rental uh, situ situation? Yes, we think it would. Um, this is a, um, a kind of a unique situation where we've got two uh, housekeeping units on one lot in a residential, in an R1 residential zone. So we don't need to mention anything about the rental. That would be automatic then, right? Okay. That is correct. Okay, very good. Any questions for Mr. Riggs from the board members? No? Okay. Uh, Mr. McMillan, you may state your name and your address for the records and state your case, please. My name is Alan McMillan. I'm here on behalf of myself and my wife, Kateri. And uh, we're at um, uh, 209 East State Street. And I'm going to try to, can I screen share now? Can I try to bring up a PowerPoint? If you can, yes, please. <laughs> okay, here we go. Stand by for a second, everyone. Uh, goodness gracious. Here we go. All right. Follow me. Justice. All right. <laughs> All right, so this is... Um, uh, to try to get a variance. Uh, in fact, hang on a second. I'm having trouble with getting the... We can see it okay here. Oh, good stuff. Yeah. All right. So, um, you know, we, we, we put in the application. It was denied. And, uh, and then that brings us to here tonight. So I appreciate this. So the first thing is this is a Google Earth shot of our property. You can see that over here uh, is East State Street. Down here is Sunnyside. In the back is Lloyd Street, and over on this side is uh, uh, Maplewood. So it's kind of unique that it's bordered by streets all the way around. Um, we live uh, in this main house, okay? Um, uh, we had this structure built, uh, and it's got a uh, three-car garage under it and, a, uh, and, a, and my new office. Uh, this is a property that's owned by our rental company, Cranberry Row. And there's no question there, but just to kind of fill this out, um, and Kateri and I are the only shareholders in that. And then what we're talking about is number three, Sunnyside tonight, and it's in the back in the carriage house back in the day when the Genotes built this house. And the pool is on a separate lot. So let me uh, give you a, a little insight into these lots. Um, this is one lot. Uh, it seems odd that it's so skinny and so long, but you couldn't do anything with it. This is. Uh, the lot in question that's got uh, our primary structure here and then uh, number three sunny side here um, and then uh, that's the part that owns owned by Cranberry Row 205 East State Street and then the fourth uh, lot is ours uh, that is the uh, swimming pool okay so uh, we think there's unique circumstances, and we really appreciate you giving us this forum that you could consider this. First off, for 13 years, we've been here, and we've been paying separate water, sewer, and trash to the city. And you have utility bills in front of you that shows that uh, when, we, when we came here, we found out that there was, uh, I guess, an illegal rental. Now, even though it was rented for probably darn near 100 years, um, we went ahead and uh, uh, 
we, we got some advice when we started investing in Athens that you really want to be, you know, square business with the uh, code office, because if they think you're cutting corners and pulling a fast one, they're going to be very upset with you. So we sat down with the tenant was a graduate student and told him that we could no longer do this, but we'll let you go to the end of the semester. And then we restored it to, it, 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 there was no one there. And I used that as my office for the last 13 years. Um, that's where I'm actually calling from you tonight, uh, calling tonight. Um, as separate utilities, you can see, uh, if you look to the service address on the water bill or the gas bill, it shows it's number three, Sunnyside. So it's a legitimate address. Uh, the United States Postal Service recognizes number three, Sunnyside. And I have a, uh, I don't think you can see me now, but I have a letter that I mailed to myself and uh, it came in July 31st and they gave it to us. Uh, historically rented, we think for, I, you know, I, I don't know exactly when it started, but it's probably close to the beginning of the, uh, the life of the building is 1910. The house next door that I talked to was built in 1908. And uh, um, it's, uh, it, you know, it's, it's, it's been rented for eons and I'll show you a picture later, but we get, we get messages from people who say, you know, when my father came back from the war, they were there, they had the reunion, you know, that <laughs> one woman shot us a note and wanted to see the place because she felt she was pretty sure that's where she was conceived. And so this was, it's just my age. So, you know, so the thing is uh, it's been a, it's been a, a rental, you know, darn near forever. Um, the renting of the unit predated the code itself. And uh, it's a unique property. And I went around and I talked to every single neighbor who could see the property. And I, I asked them and I, you know, well, this is what we wanted to do. And they were like, you know, I think there's seven of them and all seven said like, what's the big deal? It's always been a rental and there's always been nice people there. And, you know, and, and they've always been part of the neighborhood. And, you know, that's certainly what we want because we would be, uh, you know, they're, they're in close proximity to us as well. So I think there's some unique circumstances. Uh, the code office was sensitive to them, but they said uh, they had to go ahead and deny it and then go to the BZA. Okay. And then we also have two off street parking spaces for the property. So, so we've got that. Um, th this is actually a picture of uh, somebody that sent us. I mean, I mean, they were styling back in that day. I mean, I like the hat. I like the thing. I can remember my father going off to the office, and he kind of looked like that. Uh, but, but uh, yeah. we had some other rich pictures, but we didn't have. We, we don't have them. So I, I know I'm the only one uh, between you and freeing you up tonight. So I'll I'll leave it at that. But we're going to ask that you um, respectfully cons uh, consider granting us a variance and uh and we would very much appreciate it uh, mr mcmillan is this been um it has not been rented since you've been there right in the last 13 years um i it, well in fairness um i hope this doesn't hold against me we didn't feel that we could throw that graduate student out okay you know and so we so we went to the end of that and then and then we uh and then we have not rented it. And so, and we came here first. A bunch okay. of people rented, it's not gonna matter. And I said, no, 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 we're not. Yeah. And um, do you know if you're gonna how, how get- How big is the structure? Beg your uh, pardon? I, I was wondering how, how, like, how many bedrooms is it? How many tenant, how many occupants would there be? Oh yeah, it, one or two, because there's uh, it's a one bedroom apartment. It's got- okay. You know, I think it was a hayloft probably way back when it started, but you know, it's uh, got a bedroom, a bathroom, a really nice kitchen and a dining room and a living room. It's beautiful. It looks like a, a hunting lodge. It's beautiful. Okay. So is there going to be like a, a students or going to be maybe a small family or you, you haven't decided yet? Well, you know, the, the thing is, you know, when you put by landlord tenant law, when you, when you advertise, right. You're going to get who you get and you know you can't discriminate Just try i'm looking for this or i'm not looking for that but i i guess it's probably what the, our experience in the rental market in athens to come this far away from uptown it's usually a graduate student that wants something a little quieter 
Okay. Uh, I, I'm just wondering, because if you like bring individuals here, yeah, the parking rule may change. So uh, we will let you take care of that. We don't want you come back for the parking variance later on. Um, okay, then uh, that's all my questions. Any questions for Mr. McMillan from the board? The, the only reason I was asking a question was because of the two off street parking spaces. So that seems to cover his need. Yeah. Any other questions? I don't, I have, like, a, don't have any interest in short term rentals. You're, all, you're only good um, you to know, do long term, right? At one, at one point, we, we thought about doing short term rentals and then COVID came along and we just said, hey, and also, um, we had um, a, a family crisis about a year ago, exactly. Um, my wife was hit head on by a drunk driver. And it was, uh, um, you know, so things that we used to do before, we, we, we're not, we can't do. So, you know, so we, a long term rental, hopefully somebody stays for a while, uh, would be perfect and integrate into the neighborhood and the uh, community. Yeah, I was uh, in there. It's very nice. You know, I didn't get a chance. Oh, I couldn't probably get a chance to see inside. But maybe if you are prepared, you can give us a virtual tour. But that well, won't be necessary. <laughs> that won't be necessary. Yeah. Um, OK, if there is no questions from the board members, uh, we're going to go and see if there is anyone who would like to speak in favor of uh, this request. I have in here, apparently Mr. McMillan sent a, a number of emails to the neighborhood and also spoke to the neighborhood. And I have in here six email that they are all in support of the variance. Uh, I started with Mr. John Rinaldi, 203 East State Street. Uh, Mr. Jason Harmon at 7 Sunnyside Drive. Uh, Mr. John McVicker at 5 Sunnyside Drive. Uh, Mr. Peter Jung, J-U-N-G, at 6 Sunnyside Drive. And Mr. Sam Crawl at 4 Sunnyside Drive. And Hollis Corn at 12 Maplewood Drive. They all are in support of the variance request. I believe one of them mentioned something about that parking, but I guess parking is not going to be any issue. Um, did I miss anyone? No, no, you, you, you did it. And, and also, um, one of the neighbors in the stack uh, said, you know, I, I ran into her, she was doing some gardening, and she said, I, I don't know what the big deal is. It's always been a rental. Alan, we, we've been here a lot, lot longer than you. And I said, well, yeah. We, your support and all that so here we are yeah okay very good so is there anyone who would like to speak in general comment or in opposition we don't have anyone in here so i assume everything is fine so any last word mr mcmillan uh no i just really appreciate your time and uh, i also feel bad the only one on the agenda you would have got a, a night off but uh, no we just made this especially just for you <laughs> okay well, uh, <laughs> if there is no question from the board for mr mcmillan then we're going to go and uh, ask one of you to make a motion i make a motion to uh grant a variance uh, from ACC 23.03.10 to allow two primary structures on one lot where one primary structure per lot is allowed for three sunny side. Uh, do we have a second? I'll second, second it. I heard uh, Aaron first, I think. So Aaron second. Sorry, yes. Joe. <laughs> um, and then uh, exceptional circumstances. There are exceptional or extraordinary circumstances or conditions applying to the property in question or to the intended use of the property that do not apply generally to other properties or classes or uses in the same 
zone. I guess this would be an easy case to argue the exceptional circumstances. This is basically like a block. Right. Uh, it's got three streets going around and it, the lot is larger than uh, usual. It consists of three lots, I guess, or more. And then I think uh, uh, two property, two principal uh, occupation to me would be um, reasonable. Yeah, both of the, sorry, both of the buildings were there when they bought the property. Right, right. We're already there. Yeah, right. And then practical difficulty and undue hardship because of exceptional or extraordinary circumstances or conditions pertaining to a specific piece of property, a literal enforcement of these regulations will result in practical difficulty or undue hardship that is unnecessary to the achievement of the public purpose. Uh, again, uh, I don't think you have many family members left to need that is space and I think it would be uh, the good use of the property if you could utilize it as a rental. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, uh, whoever is going to be the lucky renter would also have the use of the pool, I assume. <laughs> <laughs> Preservation of equal property rights. Uh, again, this is a very unique situation in here. Um, I don't think we are giving any more privilege uh, than other comparable properties, which is not in the same vicinity or the same zone. So I can justify that. Any other comments from board members? I, I agree, John. Okay. Uh, minimum variance. I think this is a minimum variance uh, to be able to make use of the property. Absence of detriment. Um, apparently, all the neighbors around here are quite a few of them were notified and they don't have any issue they don't have any problem and this is not really of a of a general nature so we're good there mm -hmm. so are we ready to vote yeah i'm ready to vote yes okay let's just start with uh where's my form what about john g yes yes okay uh lisa yes and um aaron yes joe yes and i vote yes as well mr mcmillan you have the variance well thank you very much and again we really appreciate on behalf of kateri and myself thank you very much thanks you're for your quite welcome enjoy that house all right uh um, Mr. Mr. If I could uh, just uh, interrupt real quick, Mr. McMillan, sure. if you would come back into the code office with uh, an application, we'll go ahead and, and start uh, working on that. So at your convenience, stop by the code office. Thanks. I'll be in first thing tomorrow morning. Well, tomorrow. Yep. If they let you in, you have to knock on the door. <laughs> no, I, go, I go out, it's all, you know, physical distancing and all of that. And uh, <laughs> I've been there. Done that. Okay. You can fold the application in half and slide it through the door. <laughs> <laughs> Disposition of the minutes from July 14, 2020 meeting. Uh, I read it. It was fine. And we are looking forward to uh, see the new minutes from our new secretary, Ms. Terry Yake. Uh, Yake, do you want to say anything? You want to? kind of is say what you do for a few seconds if you're still there I, I told you i would put you on a spot <laughs> oh, there she is you might be muted yeah she's still muted sorry i, I don't know what happened it went and came back so I didn't hear if you asked me a question. No, I said, are you excited to be the secretary for this board? <laughs> I am excited. It's very interesting. Okay. It will get much more fun <laughs> as we go through, especially when we meet in person. Okay. I do we have, that. okay. Thank you. I just um, wanted to say hello and welcome you to the board. Thank you. Um, so do we have a motion for accepting or approving the minutes of July 14. 
I move forward to approve the minutes from July 14th. Joe, you want to go second? Yeah, I like being second. Okay. Second. <laughs> second to Aaron. Yeah. All right. Um, all in favor, just raise your hands. Anyone opposed? None. Okay. The motion is carried. Um, we don't have anything else to discuss. Any questions in the last minute discussions? No. Did anyone, did, did anyone tell Carrie about the initiation and stuff we have to, they have to do? Oh, yeah. No, we won't, we anyway. won't say it in public. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. who's, who's got the goldfish? <laughs> yeah. Well, the meeting is adjourned. Thank you all for attending. Thanks, Thank everyone. you.